uh, what I'll do now is take up this, uh, you know, data interpretation set involving, you know, some arithmetic aptitude concept. I mean, if you look at the recent uh, bank exams, especially as BAPU, IBPSPU, and the other ones, they've asked, they've started asking data interpretation based on time and work, based on simple and components, based on profit and loss, based on time and distance, and things like that, right? Now, now I have, I have seen a sort of panic in the student uh, community, right? It's like something new that has come up. But let me tell you, there's nothing new there. It's just that instead of asking one question of time and work, they're asking a set of five questions. The only difference is for you to be able to solve this set of data interpretation question, you should have thorough, I mean, you should be thorough with the concepts of time and work. Similarly, if they've asked something on simple and compound interest, for you to be able to answer those five questions and simple and compound interest, you should know how to do SI and CI questions. You're getting me? So, so I think let's let's take up one such set before we uh, close the session today. This was also asked in your recent uh, Olnia mock exam, which was conducted last weekend, right, for talented students. So I'll, I'll present the set of questions first. I mean, uh, I mean the first question first, and then take up the remaining, right? So here we go. The first question from this set is on your screens now. This set is easy. Okay, most of you found this set to be easy. So let's let's quickly solve this question, and then we'll we'll take up some some questions on data sufficiency. Maybe. Should we start? Uh, all of you solve this first. I think the first one you guys need to solve. Got it? All right. So let's let's take up these questions now. Here we go. Look at what it says. The following table represents the ratio of time taken in hours by pipes to fill the tank. So basically, we have one line graph, simple line graph attached with a table. Table, he says, represents the ratio of time taken. Ratio of time taken in hours by pipes to fill the tank. So A is to P, B is to Q, C is to R, D is to S, E is to T. The ratios are given to us. And I think the times of A, B, C, D, E are given here. Number of hours taken by five pipes to fill a tank. So A takes what? So it's not exactly 15. I mean, if you understand, it's, like, it's going to be 16 here. Right? This is 12. This is exactly 20, right? This also touches exactly this point, 15. And this is going to be just below 10, which is 9. Yeah, I mean, if you draw the thin lines, you would know the kind of division there. So 16, 12, 20, 15, and 9 are the numbers. So what do we know? We know the time taken by A, B, C, D, E. Time taken the five pipes, A, B, C, D, E. We know the ratio of A to P, B to Q, C to R, D to S, and E to T. So accordingly, we can find out the time taken by P, Q, R, S, T also. So basically, directly or indirectly, this data has got the time taken by 10 pipes. A, B, C, D, E through the chart and P, Q, R, S, T through the table here. For example, A is to P is 18 is to 9. Uh, 8 is to 9. What is A? 16. 16 is to what? 18. Or let me write it here. 16 is to 18. So I can say P takes, if A takes 16 hours, getting it. If A takes 16 hours, P will take nine, uh, 18 hours. Yes or no? Simple numbers. Very, very simple numbers. Yeah. B is to Q. 3 is to 4. B takes 12. So if 12 is 3, 4 will be 16. C is to 5. So C is 20. If 20 is 5, or if 5 is 20, 6 will be 24. You understand the ratio calculation? D is to 5. D is to S. 5 is to 3. So 15 is to 9. 3 is to 2. E is 9. So this will be 6. You understand? 16, 12, 20, 15, 9. 16, 12, 20, 15, 9 are the times taken from the line graph. In in line with this ratio, we get P as 18, Q as 16, R as 24. You see, this is 8 is to 9. This is 3 is to 4. This is 5 is to 6. This is 5 is to 3. This is 3 is to 2. So we know all the times. We know all the times. Now look at the questions. Find the respective ratio of efficiency of A and B together. Efficiency of A and B together and efficiency of Q and R together. The ratio of efficiency of A and B together and efficiency of Q and R together. What do you mean by efficiency? Efficiency is nothing but capacity. Efficiency is nothing but capacity. What is the capacity of A and B together? See, A's capacity is 1 by 16. A's capacity is 1 by 16. What is B's capacity? 1 by 12. These two capacities of Q and R together. What is Q's capacity? 1 by 16. What is R's capacity? Uh, 1 by 24. You understand? The ratio of their capacities. The capacity of A and B together, A's capacity is 1 by 16, B's capacity is 1 by 12. Together is 1 by 16 plus 1 by 12. Q and R, Q's capacity is 1 by 16, R's capacity is 1 by 24. So total capacity together is 1 by 16 plus 1 by 24. You have to get this ratio to get the answer. You have to solve this to get the answer. Yeah? 
Yes or no? Smartly, I can say immediately option 2 and option 3 cannot be the answers because the first value is going to be more than the second value. See, 1 by 16, 1 by 16 is same. 1 by 12 is more than 1 by 24. So overall, the first term is going to be more than the second term. In option 2, we have first term less than second term. In option 3 also, we have first term less than second term. It doesn't help. We have to do the further calculation. 4 is to 3 and 7 is to 5. But at least stupid answers should not be marked. Even if you want to make a guess, even if you want to make a guess, you cannot mark 5 is to 7 or 3 is to 4. If you want to take a chance, mark either option 1 or option 4. But don't mark these things. Clearly, the first time is going to be more, right? 116, 116 is common. 1 by 12 is more than 1 by 24. So obviously, this side will be more. Yeah? Now simplify now. I think I, I can take LCM throughout as, let's say, or not LCM, I can take a common multiple 48 everywhere. The common multiple is 48 everywhere. That makes life easy, right? So 16... Getting it? 16 goes how many times? 3 plus 12 goes 4 times. 16 goes how many times? 3 plus 2 times. 7 is to 5. So this is 3 plus 4, 7. This is 3 plus 2, 5. Option 4 is the answer. Yeah, please make a note of these values. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the advantage we will have in the exam is we will note down these values on paper, right? So it is written on paper. You know all the times directly. Next time onwards, from next question onwards, you should not waste your time in finding out the individual values. Okay? Take the next one now. Find the time taken by A, R, T together. Time taken by A, R and T together. So this is simple. You know the time taken by A. How much is the time taken by A? 16 hours. Time taken by R. How much was R? I think 24. R was 24. And time taken by T is 6. 24, 6 and 16. A, R, T is it, right? A takes 16 hours. R takes 24 hours. T takes 6 hours. 16, 24 and 6. 16, 24 and 6. These are the time taken when they work individually. So find the time taken by all these three pipes together to fill the tank. What happens? A, B and C are working together. A, B and C are working together. So 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C. That's the calculation you need to do. Simplify. What happens? Simple calculation. 1 by 16 plus 1 by 24 plus 1 by 6. I think 48 can be the LCM. So 16 goes 3 times, 24 goes 2 times, and find the time taken by A, R, T together to fill the tank, right? By 16, 1 by 24, 1 by 6. I can take 48, right? Yeah, 16 goes 3 times, 24 goes 2 times, 6 goes 8 times. 13 by 48. Yeah, so this is what total capacity when A, R, and T are working together, the total capacity is 13 by 48, which means time, time required is 48 by 13. Time required is 48 by 13. Now, if you see, none of the options here are in the form of 48 by 13. Now, don't mark none of this as the answer immediately because I think 144 by 39 is nothing but 48 by 13. Multiply both numerator and denominator by 3, what happens? 48 into 3 is 144. 13 into 3 is 39. So, it's actually the answer is option 3. 144 by 39. You're getting it? Since you have got 48 by 13 in a hurry, don't mark fifth option, none of this. Yeah? Because nothing is 48 by 13 here. If you if you pay attention, 144 by 39, when you simplify further, see 3 is the common multiple, right? So this goes 48 times and this goes 13 times. This is actually 48 by 13. So be careful, right? Next question. If pipe C and D works with double efficiency and pipes Q and P and Q works with half efficiency, find the time required by C, D, P, Q to fill the tank. Again, a simple one. Should not take more than 30, 40 seconds. Your clock is ticking now. Done? Alright, let's take it up. So he says pipes C and D works with double efficiency. And pipes P and Q works with half efficiency. Find the time required by C, D, P, Q. See, what is the efficiency of C? C's efficiency is equal to, how much time does C take? Uh, 20, right? So efficiency will be 1 by 20. What is the efficiency of D? Uh, D takes what? 15 hours. So efficiency is 1 by 15. What is the efficiency of uh, P and Q? P's efficiency is what? I think it was 18, so 1 by 18. And Q's efficiency is what? It was 1 by 
16 I guess right let me just check the numbers for P and Q C D P Q C is 20 D is 15 18 and 16 20 15 18 16 I think I've taken the right values yeah 20 15 18 16 now he says uh, C and D works with double efficiency so what's the new efficiency of C double twice so 2 by 20 D dash 2 by 15 C and D work with double efficiency. P and Q work with half efficiency. It is half. Half means divide this by 2. So, denominator will get multiplied by 2. Q also works with half efficiency into 2. So, now the efficiencies are 2 by 20, which is nothing but 1 by 10. This is 2 by 15. Right? Uh, P's efficiency is 1 by 36. And Q's efficiency is 1 by 32. So, these are the fractions you have to deal with now. Right? You know the efficiencies of C and D and P and Q, double the efficiencies of C, D, half the efficiencies of P, Q, and then play with the fractions. And now what you have to do, if find the time required if all of them work together. So you know the capacities of all of them, 1 by 10, 2 by 15, 1 by 36, 1 by 36 and 1 by 32. Now find out the total time. So 1 by 10 plus 2 by 15 plus 1 by 36 plus 1 by 32. Yeah, get the LCM. I think that's the key. Find out the LCM. 36 and 32. Yeah, there lies the solution. This is the final answer. I mean, simplify this will give you the total capacity, reciprocate it to get the number of hours. You know the total capacity when reciprocated will give you the total number of hours. What is the LCM? Anyone? 10, 15, 36, and 32. Even if you use LCM, some of you are suggesting me to use LCM method. Even if you use the LCM method, you will be in a uh, similar state, right? You will have to find out the uh, multiple. I mean, what happens in LCM method is you don't deal with fractions. You deal with absolute numbers. But you will have similar challenge there also. Yeah. So I think if I see 36 and 30 are critical here. The This is like 4 into 9. This is 4 into 8. I think 9 into 8, 72. 72 does not give anything. 1440. Some of you got 1440. Yeah. So I think do the regular LCM thing and simplify. 1440 is LCM, let's say. It divides this also. So 10 goes what? 144 times 15 would go uh, 100 minus 4, 96 times. 96 into 2, 192 times basically. You understand? 15 goes 96 times here. 1500 minus 60 I have taken. So 1500 goes, I mean 15 goes 100 times in 1500 and 4 times in 60. So 100 minus 4, 96, 96 into 2, 192. 36 goes how many times? 36 into 4 is 144. So this is 40. Yes or no? 36 into 4 is 144. And 32 goes how many times? This is like... Uh, 32 goes how many times? 1440. Is it divisible first of all? Into 4 is 128. Huh. Into 4, yeah, 4.5 times. So this goes 45 times. 32 goes 45 times. Yeah. Yes or no? 32 into 45 will give you 1440. So, the actual answer will be 1440 divided by the denominator here. I think calculation, let me leave it for you guys. You can do it. Remember, the final answer is going to be this is capacity. This What you have got here is the total capacity. Right? Total time required is what we need to find out. Total time required is going to be 1440 divided by whatever number of, uh, what is the sum that you get here? So it's like 40 plus 45, 85, 85 plus uh, 200 is 285, 285 minus 8, let's say. So 277 and 144, 281, 321, 421. Check it again if you want. 100, 200, 240, 280, 320, 410, 410 and 11. 421, right. So that's the answer. 1440 by 421. Simplify it further, you'll get it. See, anyway, if you look at the denominator term here, 411, 511, 430, or 430, they're all incorrect, right? It is 421 in the denominator. So the only one which satisfies the denominator is option 2. But you have to be careful. The numerator also should be correct, right? 511, 433, and 411 are ruled out. In the denominator, we should have 421. Yeah? Just take care of the numerator part. So 421 into 3 plus 177 should give you 1440. Alright, I think you will simplify it yourself.